hip hop blog, hip hop blog, hip hop blog. Uh, I am simply uh, gonna speak on this. I didn't speak on it last week. I was a little too hurt to actually talk about it. But uh, it says the parole board in Georgia, in the state of Georgia, spread a convicted killer, spared a convicted killer from execution hours before he was due to die by lethal injection on Thursday and commuted his sentence to life in prison. The Georgia Board of Pardons and Paroles made this decision less than three hours before Samuel David Crow, which is 47 years old, was to be executed. According to the spokesperson for the state prison, after carefully and exhaustive consideration of the request, the board voted to grant clemency. The board voted to commute the sentence to life without parole. The board, but the parole board also said that Crow's death will have marked the third execution since the U.S. Supreme Court lifted an unofficial mor moratorium on the death penalty last month. Crow was not present at the parole board here in Atlanta. He had already eaten his last meal and was preparing to enter the ex execution chamber at the prison in Jackson. At the prison in Jackson. Uh, Manly McCoy of the Georgia Department of a robbery at the lumber company in Douglas County, west of Atlanta, Crow, and already previously worked at the store, shot Palais, a pull out three times with a pistol, beat him with a crowbar and a pot of paint. Crow pleaded not guilty to armed robbery, uh, but takes full responsibility for the crime and experienced profound remorse. According to Georgia's for alternatives to the death penalty, an advocacy group who welcomed the board's decision. At Thursday's hearing, his lawyers presented a, do a dozier of evidence at listing to his remorse and good behavior in jail. The lawyers also said that he was suffering from withdrawal and symptoms from a cocaine addiction at the time of the crime. Uh, on April 16th, he rejected a challenge to the three drug cocktail used in most U.S. executions, which opponents claim inflicted unnecessary pain. Georgia conducted execution on May 5th. Georgia has executed 41 men since the Supreme Court reached that death in 1973. And this week it had 109 prisoners on death row. So, Georgia, for real, the same parole board that killed Troy Davis gave clemency to a white man who actually killed someone. This man has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt to be a murderer. He admitted it. Yeah, he showed remorse, but he admitted it. They got evidence, they got ballistics, forensics, and the murder weapons. Yet this motherfucker gets off simply because he's sorry. Oh, he was on work detail. Yeah, you know, he admitted he was sorry. He showed profound remorse. Fuck the Georgia legal system. Let me be honest with you guys. It's bullshit. I understand we have to believe in the legal system simply because it's something in place, it's a system, it's something that you should believe in. But at the moment when Troy Davis was executed, I told myself then that if a man has seven out of nine people recant their statement, What's their benefit for doing it? He ain't got no money. You have no ballistics or forensics evidence. You do not have the murder weapon. You simply hang this down and cannot prove this man did it. And out of the two people who was left, one of them admitted they did it. And you motherfuckers killed him. waited for everybody to clear out. They didn't even, if you was watching CNN, these motherfuckers were still telling you like, we're waiting to see what time is gonna happen 
or whether it's gonna happen, you know, or whatever, whatever. But at the time, if you really paid attention, you would notice that as they went in and telling you that, you know, he was getting a stay at execution and it was a temporary stay. And they was waiting to see how many people, you know, if the, if the, if the courts was gonna hear the case. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just came back like, he's been executed. I'm like, what the fuck? They didn't tell anybody. All the motherfuckers did was, have you ever seen John Q? It's the same story. Uh, you know, show John Q, let all the prisoners go, and then the crowd calms down. And then finally, the crowd leaves. This thing, you know, it comes John Q out the door. The legal system killed the innocent man in the same breath, let one, let a guilty man off. I'm tired as hell, guys. I mean, I've been up the whole weekend. But I can say that this marks a day in history for me that is so fucking unjust that it literally makes me sick in my stomach. We live in a, I live in a state, which is Georgia, that has proven if there's any time to fucking play the race card, it's now. To y'all, I'm just killing another nigga in a redneck ass city. Or whatever Jerry's fucking station he was in. And that's what it was to me. But then you turn around and let a motherfucking white boy off for killing somebody, beating him with a crowbar, shooting him three times. You don't fucking need the system. Because we are a part of a society that don't give a fuck about them niggas, man. Wrong place, wrong time. Rock his ass up. Jail, murder, no evidence, rock his ass up. Somebody say we're selling drugs and we found them, but we didn't find no drugs. Lock his ass up. Somebody say he did it. Lock his ass up. No forensic evidence. Lock his ass up. No murder weapon. Lock his ass up. Crack a goddamn go out and shoot up a whole goddamn house. Say he's sorry. Get that for four or five years. We let him go. The legal system is bullshit. Period. Fuck with nobody said. Hip hop blog, hip hop blog, hip hop blog. I'm out. Oh yeah, RIP for a day.